Or in the president's first State of the Union address, he's expected to focus on the economy, immigration, and national security. And our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, has more on how it's coming together behind the scenes. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, Robin, busy day here at the White House. The White House says that this is going to be must-see TV, that we all know this is a president who excels in prime time, so it will be definitely a big show. Behind the scenes here, uh, exactly what President Trump will say tonight remains a bit of a mystery. I've got to say, a source tells me that even among those in the president's own inner circle, very few people have seen the entirety of the speech that he's going to give tonight. Uh, unlike that American carnage speech that the president gave during his inaugural address, this one, I'm told, will be uh, the, the key space key a phrase for it is going to be optimism and that the president gave specific direction to staff mem members here that he wanted to see this as a positive and uplifting speech. Uh, for months he's been uh, sending, passing along phrases and key lines that he wants to see in this speech tonight, but really the primary speech writer is his uh, senior policy advisor Stephen Miller, a, a hardliner on immigration. I'm told the president did spend the weekend editing this speech and that he did a full practice run here in the White House map room yesterday. Uh, and he'll be spending the day doing preps for the speech today, last minute preps, Robin. But as you know, the White House says the entire first family will be here at there tonight uh, in that chamber from the first lady, all of the president's children. But Barron is not going, Robin. It is a school night. You got to remember. Yes, we do remember that. But speaking of the first family, what can you tell us about the special guests that will be there tonight? Well, these guests are going to give us a sense of what exactly the president is going to talk about. So let's take a look at who a few of them will be there in the first lady's box. A family that benefits from the president's tax plan, uh, parents of two daughters who were killed by the MS-13 gang, and uh, small business owners, Democrats, a number of them, Robin, are protesting this speech and won't be there tonight. All right, Cecilia, thank you.